Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So I have another eyeshadow video today and it was my birthday recently and I did get the Dior Backstage Eye Palette in Cool Neutral. Now come on, this is just stunning, just absolutely stunning. So I thought it was only fitting to do a little review and tutorial with this new palette I own. As it says in the name, it's sort of a cool toned eyeshadow palette, kind of a bit pinky mauve, and it's got a few light shimmers as well. It's got like an eye primer shade here, and it has one, two, three, four, five mattes or varying depth and three shimmer shades, which also have a good change in depth to them. So there's the shimmers, here's our mattes and eye primer. I think I'm gonna avoid the eye primer because I already have sort of concealer on my eyes. So I don't think I need it, but I am just going to quickly swatch the shimmers. So here are the shimmers. They are beautiful, cooly, mauve, pink shades. I don't know what sort of look I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna play around with the two lightest shades. Yeah, probably. I need to get this off of me now. Okay, so let's get into the look. I'm gonna zoom you in. First thing I'm gonna do is gonna take this shade, which strangely enough, really matches my nails. So this sort of, the second lightest shade. Just on this Soeva Luxe Soft Definer brush. It's a very light baby pink sort of shade. Oh wow, I am i don't think you can see that, but in person that has quite a lot of sort of pigmentation. It's really covered my lids well. Okay, I'm impressed by that. So I'm just gonna chuck this all over my eye to be honest and use it as sort of a transition shade. It's kind of laying a base. So far, yeah, I'm impressed by that. I was not expecting a shade that light to have that sort of opacity to it. <sighs> okay, what I think I'm gonna do is take this shade next here and sort of work that more into the actual crease. Just using the same. One thing to note, I think they're very powdery. Like, I don't know if you can see that. Let me just, there's a lot of kickback to them. Isn't causing a problem on my actual eyes. I don't think I've got any fallout, but yeah, that's something to note. That's a very sort of purple shade on me, but I'm having no problems with blending or pigmentation. It looks really nice. I think I'm gonna take this matte shade, the top right corner, kind of says it's a sculpting powder, and I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. Make some dimension. It's very similar to that other matte we just used, just a little bit deeper. I feel like this look is coming out way more purple than it looks in the palette. It looks a bit more gray. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put that under my lower lash line a bit as well. Oh, that wasn't very attractive. <laughs> I'm gonna try and join everything up in the outer corner. Like so. I think that's looking really nice so far. I think I'm gonna try and introduce a shimmer. No, not yet. I'm gonna try the deepest matte shade, sort of a outer lash line situation. So I'm just gonna take a really sort of short brush and smudge it. Okay, that is quite deep. but it does blend out nicely. So it kind of, you can build it up to be a bit darker, I think, but you can also smoke it out a little bit and not have it so intense. I'm just gonna go over with that brush I've been using. I'm just gonna deepen up a little bit like that. And I think I've done a slight wing. I don't know if that was intentional, but let's go with the flow. As I'm doing it, I am sort of using this brush to blend it out, bit of a two-in-one. Yeah, I like that for some definition. That's a nice shade. Hey, I wanna put some shimmer on. So I think I'm gonna go for that middle shade. I'm gonna apply it with my finger. I might have to go back in with that deeper liner shade I just used, but the shimmer isn't overpowering. It is quite a natural, subtle shimmer. Don't expect any sort of foiled looks. Although I'm not putting it on wet, it could be a bit more sparkly if I did it wet, but it is definitely more natural in my opinion. It is, it's a cute shade. It almost has a purple like reflect in there. 
I do wonder if this is the sort of shade that catches really beautifully in low light. I'm just gonna build up that liner shade again because I just put the shimmer on top. I think it is really pretty, but it is definitely muted. I'm gonna try the sort of lighter champagne-y sort of shade on my inner corner, inner third. I definitely think it's bringing some light to that inner corner. And it might be a little bit more glittery and sparkly than that purple shade. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice inner corner sort of highlight. I'm gonna pop some mascara on and I can wrap up my thoughts. Oh yeah, and this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational, kind of goes with the vibe of it. Okay, so here is the finished look from a distance. I think it is very elegant and natural. I feel like I could get away with this for an everyday sort of palette, which is interesting because I did dip into some of the deeper shades in here. The only sort of shade I didn't touch is this light pinky, which I realize is a shimmer, not a matte, and the really deep smoky metallic. So that is something I will want to test out in the future, but I think this has given me a really pretty day-to-day -day cool mauve. It isn't spectacular. I wasn't amazed by the shimmers. I feel like they are a little bit subtle, dull. Depends what you think of a light shimmer. I haven't tried the deepest one. Could sway my opinion. But I was really impressed with the mattes. They were pigmented, very opaque, and blended really nicely. An all matte cool mauve look from this palette would be really nice. I may have to give that a go. But I am happy with this eye look. And I will will continue to use this palette. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see some more of me don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you again in the next one. Bye!